Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. And I want to show you guys right now the tomato plant right over here. You can see this is the mini bell tomato plant. And we finally got to the point where the fruits are producing and getting nice and large for me. Now you can see I got a whole array of sizes over here. This is the biggest one that I have. This is the first one that was growing. And then we got a couple of small ones over here and even smaller. And a bunch of like flowers that are basically getting to this stage here so when I pan the camera around you can see there's basically flowers and fruits that are producing all over this little plant here and it's super compact and tight guys this is one of the the most condensed plants I've ever grown especially for a tomato variety and man this thing is just loaded with flowers and Hopefully soon will be loaded with fruits just like it is over here. Um, it hasn't begun to put on any colors yet However, the fruit does look absolutely beautiful. Let me zoom it in a little bit guys. You can see a little bit more of an up-close shot Look at this beautiful little tomato fruit that's growing and I can see it from this angle. There's one back there And a few here and there so I can't wait for this thing to start putting on some beautiful hints of red and orange. And I'm really excited for it to get nice and colorful for me. So it's going to look really beautiful in the system over here. And when I step back, you could see just how large the plant got since the last update. Here's a comparison of my hand, so it's not even like that big. And it looks like it's probably about a foot long. Uh, let me see, is my measuring tape next to me? No, sorry guys. Um, so we'll do that next time, but overall it didn't grow too too big since the last update. I got a little bit wider. I've been actually like spinning this container around. One day it's like this, the next day I'll completely turn the container like this way. And depending on, you know, what the plant is looking like or which direction it's kind of leaning, I'll sort of spin it around in that, in that area. And you could see overall the leaves, the leaves are doing not too bad. It's definitely doing a lot better since the last update I showed you guys. Man, those leaves were absolutely terrible. Here's an example of um, some of the, the ones that I was mentioned earlier. You can see that it just produces these like spots. And it doesn't seem to be like a nutrient deficiency or anything like that because I definitely did a nutrient swap. I checked the pH, I checked the PPM. Everything seems to be pretty good. However, um, the leaves just keep getting affected. So this just is probably like a, the variety of tomato. It's probably really susceptible to, to like diseases or something like that. I really don't know, honestly. I, I wish I knew a little bit more about what's going on with this plant over here, but I can't say that, you know, I'm too upset because you know, honestly, it's producing for me really well. And as many bad leaves as I do get, when I do clip them off, there's a bunch of good ones that come and take their place, guys. So you can see over here, here's an example. Look at this little sucker that grows in. And I showed a bunch of times earlier, but very quickly after the sucker grows in, the flowers start producing, like over here. You can see the sucker starts growing and these little flowers start growing in. And man, this thing is just packed, like completely, completely packed. And I take off the bad leaves basically as I see them um, like something like this I'd wait a little bit longer just for it to get a little bit worse eh, you know let's just take it off right here but usually I don't want to take off like a bunch of leaves at once you're really gonna like damage the plant that way so I kind of take off a couple leaves you know here or there every every day or so and the plant seems to be doing really well guys so let me try to turn it around the other direction see if we can get any other angles or see what's going on Let's cover that back up and you can see here's a really bad leaf over here so let's take that off and it's just kind of like about maintaining the plant and keeping the plant overall ha happy man I came wow that's that's strong I can't break that unbelievable so let's kind of cut that off So you see, these leaves are now looking too, too great, guys. That's what I'm talking about. That keeps happening. And, and yeah, I mean, 
at least there's no aphids or bugs honestly so can't say I'm too upset the flowers are absolutely beautiful they're super tiny and small and I just come in I literally grab the whole container and give it a little bit of a shake sometimes other times I come in tap the plant everything seems to work for pollinating tomatoes as long as it get, uh, shakes even the fan spinning around is enough to pollinate it so this is just a quick episode guys for you to see what's going on with the tomato plant guys and we're definitely gonna be back soon for more and i'm really excited for this plant to keep on growing guys so for now this is the episode but before we go i do have one issue that i'm noticing that keeps happening and i want to show you guys I'm trying to figure out how to deal with it right now you can see if you look at the bottom of the reservoir here, um, number one, it's it's very low, so I'm going to do a nutrient swap later tonight. But number, the second biggest thing, the problem is, if I kind of zoom in, focus in right there, you guys could see all these little tiny particles that are spinning around. Uh, man, it's uh, these freaking clay pebbles, guys. You can see some of them are just broken. And that's how they came in shipping. I didn't think it'd be an issue, but it looks like now it is. Since the water level keeps on um, going up, it soaks for a couple minutes and then goes back down. It soaks up, the plants absorb all the nutrients, but then when it goes back down, it takes in a lot of these um, freaking clay pebbles, man. Absolutely terrible. So I'm going to figure something out with that. I may have to pull these plants out and kind of clean the whole system out. I'm trying to figure out a way to avoid that altogether. I really, really want to, I don't even care about these two plants right here, but this tomato plant, guys, I really want to care for it a little bit more. And it's definitely doing well for me, so you got to keep your plants happy as best as it can. Especially I want to try to save some seeds from this, you know, and grow fur and grow it right after this, this growth and try to see how long, or you know how long it grows from, from the second growth or if it, if it develops a little bit better. A lot of times when you're growing plants indoors, um, if you kind of keep growing the plant and you take the seed and you grow the plant again, it gets really acclimated to your environment in particular and it grows much better in your space. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do. And yeah, guys, that's, that's basically it. It's just a really quick and simple episode. And it looks like I got a little more maintaining here to do. But we'll be back soon for more, guys. As always, if you liked the episode, please hit that thumbs up. Post any messages or comments down below. I'll do my best to respond. As always, thanks for watching. We'll be back soon.